In this question, we have a number of time, time domain signals, and we have a number of spectra, so frequency domain representations. And the question is to match signals with their corresponding spectra. And we're given a little bit of help. So for each of our terms, we're given a description, and we're given the Fourier coefficients. We're given the a naught, the DC term, the A ends, and the B ends. So let's look at the first one. What we have is a DC, so constant signal. So that clearly has no A terms and no B terms. So both the A's and the B's are zero. All we have is A naught. All we have is one component, an A naught. That means it's zero hertz. So which of our spectra looks like that? So it's clearly not this or that or that. I mean, this is almost, but look at that. That is an F naught. That is the first harmonic. So it's clearly not that. But here, look at that, we have zero for all the um, components except for the T DC value. So it looks like this first one is matched to this. So this is what DC looks like in the frequency domain. The next signal, again, nice and easy. What we have is a sine wave. So it doesn't have a DC value. DC value is zero. Because it's a sine wave, it doesn't have any cosine components. And it only has one sine component, B1. So it doesn't have any higher components, no higher components. So what we're looking for is a spectrum which has only one component, and that component is for n equals 1. So remember, this discrete axis, we could have n, and that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In this case, the axis is actually annotated with frequencies. So this component here is your component C1. So this is, a, this is C0, C1, C2, C3, etc. And remember, C is simply the square root of a n squared plus b n squared. So if all the a's are zero, then c will be equal to b. So we now have a match. The second one matches that. So now we have three more. Let's look at this next waveform. It's a triangle, or a triangular waveform. What's the first thing we're told about it? We're told it doesn't have a DC value. AN equals zero. It doesn't have a DC value. So we eliminate this one here because it does have a DC value. So it can't be that. So that leaves either this or this. Let's see what else we know about it. We know that the even harmonics are zero for even values of a, f, uh, n. We have zero, so the two, four, six should be zero. So here, if we look at the two, the four, and the six, they're not zero. So that eliminates that, or we've already eliminated that. Let's look at this one: the two. 
the 4 and the 6, they are 0. So it could be this. This is a, a possibility. And let's look at this. The 2, the 4 and the 6 are 0. So it could be this. What else do we know? We know that the relationship for a n is 4a over n pi squared. So for n equals 1, it would be 4a over pi squared. So for n equals 1, a1 equals 4 a over 1 pi squared. Now pi squared is almost 10, so you're looking at something like something in the region of 0 0.4a. So looking at this and looking at this, which one looks like 0 0.4a? I mean, that looks closer to 0.8a, and that might be a 0.4a. So just on that basis alone, I would say that that's the better match. Let's look at the next uh, signal. Here we have a rectangular pulse. What do we know? We know that there is a DC term, A0 equals A times D, and D is 0.3, so the DC term has a, an amplitude of 0.3A. So let's look which one has a DC term of 0.3A. So here you notice the DC term looks like it's one third of A. So that, that sort of gives it away. So we can match this with that. That's not very neat, but that will match that. So now we only have one left. So I, I guess they're going to have to be a match. But let's, let's look at it and see what it says. We're told that it's a square wave. It doesn't have a DC value. There you go. It doesn't have a DC value. We're told that AN follows that formula. That's interesting. Let's, let's try it for N equals 1. So for N equals 1, A1 will be... 2a over pi times sine pi over 2. So sine pi over 2 is 1. So you end up with 2a over pi. So it's roughly 0 0.6 to a over pi, yeah, 0. Point, let's say 0. 0.7a, so something like that, okay? Now, if n was odd, if n is odd, we clearly have zeros here. So what's happening there? Well, if you have odd multiples of sine, Remember what a sign looks like. Where do you have your zero crossings? You have it at even multiples of n pi over 2. So, um, sorry if I said odd, I meant even. So here at the even multiples, when n is even, and n is 2, 4, 6, 8, you would have zeros. So we were right, and um, this is a match. So we've 
managed by inspection, by looking at the components and by figuring out the shapes of the, um, the spectra of these individual signals, we've managed to match all five signals to their spectra. So that's the end of that question.